Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Weigh the good with the bad. It's time for pros and cons. It's pros and cons time. <laughs> pros and cons is the name of our podcast. So we like to play the pros and cons of the week, which is the most simple game of all time. We have 10 topics and you need to tell us if it's a pro or con and then we just talk a bunch of rubbish about it. Yep. Could be relevant to what's happening now. It could, it could just be, be absolutely re- <laughs> Yeah, anything. Irrelevant. Perfect. Uh, okay. Well, the first one we've kind of already touched on, so but we'll go over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving into state. Pro. Big life, you know, development opportunity. I love yep. it. I think it's if you're moving away from family or with family, you know, it's a it's something that you can remember that transition and then you're in a new place, it's exciting, you find new cafes, yep. you go to new restaurants, makes it fun. And then you've always got home to go back to. That's right. Yeah. And you've moved international, so I have. Yes. Yes. Previously. Uh, all right, second one. This is just a random one because I had it for lunch earlier. <laughs> Subway cookies. Oh, big pro. Big <laughs> heated up go. as well. Oh, oh yes. Heated heated up, up, yeah. Which ones though? Uh, white chalk macadamia yeah. for me, yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say white chalk raspberry. Oh, no. no. But macadamia is good too. They're all good. No, yeah, white white chalk can go get fucked. I don't like oh, What are you? <gasps> just chocolate, just plain chocolate chip. Plain, no. not even double. No, double chocolate chip is fantastic. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's fantastic. <laughs> I was going right, to say I have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, anything chocolate chip, but I've never been a white chocolate person. Yeah, you, ref- you flat out refuse when I offered you. I did. You offered me. It was very nice of you, actually. Yeah. Yeah. A very kind thing for you to do. You very out of, no. very <laughs> out of character. Yeah. It's not for me a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Punching someone in the face. Oh. <laughs> um, de- well, that not that subjective? It depends where you are and... Who it is. Yeah, sure. In the <laughs> ring. In the yeah, ring. in the ring. It's Yeah, it's probably a pro considering the other option. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was going to be getting punched yeah, in the face, but yeah. we, we all know what the answer is. But then you, you said plastic surgery for, so you didn't yeah. think that would be the answer. That's true. About? Well, yeah. pu- what would pu- what would have getting punched in the face be? Well, a pro or a be, con? It would be a con. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah true. All right. Uh, all right. All uh, right. Fourth one here, AFLW expansion. Oh, it, con adds a negative light onto it, but it's not. It's just the wrong timing. I don't think it's quite there yet. I think expanding expanding up until now was the right thing mm. to do, but as of now I think we need to sit on it for a minute and, yep. you know, let players develop and play in the system for a little bit longer. There was a point where there was half a team who had not played yeah. at the start of the season and that's a little bit. It's a big ask for these girls who are getting out on the telly and, you know, playing and being expected and subjected to all the criticism when perhaps they weren't quite quite ready mm. and if it wasn't for the expansion, they wouldn't be playing. So, yeah, I think hold off for a second just because of the, you know, you can't speed up time. You can't just all yeah. of a sudden kick further and jump higher mm. tomorrow. Um, yep. People just need time to train and, um, yeah, get to a point where the competition can – I guess boast that there's more depth. Yeah. Well, I remember I was talking to Daniel before the show that I grew up with Steph Kiochi, um, real good friends with her brother and um, and that. And, and we spoke a couple of years ago about it, about it needs to expand to a point and then you need to let like the girls who are 8, 9, 10 years old now yes. and the amount of local footy clubs opening up and more teams that are expanding that how good are they going to be when they're 16, 17, 18 years old because they've got all these grassroots academies and squads and all that there that the girls who were probably 22, 23 now didn't have. Yeah, back I can't then. wait for it. Yeah, I can't exactly. Wait. Yeah. I am so stoked that there's the number one draft pick among others, but Ellie McKenzie at Richmond yep. can, you know, mark a footy better than me, can kick further, is more accurate. You know, I love that because it's just a sign. It had like, you know, I, it means that I've got to work harder to be better. Yep. That's good. That's fine. I'm, I'm all about competition. But yeah, I, I was, when she come in, Big bodied, like strong girl, ready to go, and then just you know plays out of her skin every game. Yeah. I was just like, this is it. This is what it's going to be. And then I can kind of sit back and think, finally, we can say that like all the naysayers is kind of just like, well, what do you mean? Like it's yeah, yeah. They've, they've now yeah. been given the opportunity to try and develop, grow, and they're becoming great athletes, great footballers. Well, yeah. it makes sense That's to have expanding. teams, teams, a small amount of teams full of. Absolute guns. Yeah. Which is hopefully what's going to happen in the next like five years. That's the product though. That's what the AFL wants. So if that's what they want, then they're going to have to. Slow down a little bit. Yeah. Understand the reality of where things are at. But I also, I also understand why the expansion, you know, is, is something that would 
be exciting as well. Yes. Why well, not our club wants a team? Yeah. yeah. We just want a team yeah. at the moment to have a team. Like, And if that was the case, if it happened, I think, you know, everything would work out and it wouldn't be an enormous disaster or anything. Mm. I just feel like my gut feel is that just, you know, we need a little bit more time to kind of steady and, um, yeah, make sure things are as they should be and yep. the players that are playing are the right people to be out, you know, playing on the telly and yep. given the opportunities. Yep. yep. Awesome. Good answer. Uh, Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. Oh, I think Jake wins. I've wow. heard. Do you know what? So it's a pro, though. A pro, yeah. sorry. Oh, a pro? sorry. I think. No, yeah. no. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pro. It's, pro it's a pro. And my reason is I don't, you know, I, all these people get mad about, um, you know, YouTubers and stuff boxing. But, like, you've got to understand that these people have an enormous following mm. that is only going to bring eyes to boxing that they otherwise wouldn't have even thought about or yep. wanted to watch. Um. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that Jake will win by knockout. Ooh, yeah, it's okay. the only way he can, I think, in my eyes. You as well, yeah. No, I don't know if you will. I, I, I'm I'm a massive MMA fan, so I am team MMA on this one. But I don't – Ben Ashman's not a boxer. I kind He's of don't – a boxer. I don't really care. Like yeah. either – I kind yeah, of want yeah. Ben to win just because you know, it'd be kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I do think Jake will win. Yeah. But I think it's a pro. I think any, you know, f- footy players – I. I it annoys me that, you know, people think that I'm a footy player boxing right. when no, the reality yeah. is I've, I'm both. You're right, yeah. Um, if anything, I'm a, you know, boxer playing footy. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but, yeah, like Paul Gallen and these people are all, Sonny Bill, all just yep. doing great things for boxing and it's never been bigger. It's never had more opportunity, more pay-per-views. Um, yeah, so I think it's a it's a pro. Yeah, we spoke awesome. to the boys about it last week, yeah, the Bombers boys that were on and yep. I'm, I, I think it's a – Pro for the same exact reasons. The eyes are the are the uh, the eyes are money. Yeah, the yeah, money. The money. Yeah, yeah. But spoke, then yeah. I, the only con that there is there is the is the cheat way they can they yes. can cut in over people who are hard workers their whole life to try to be boxers. But hopefully they can be on the undercard. But that, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. They also even being on the undercard is bigger and probably more that's money, right. more eyes than any other way. So yeah. it's just it is what it is. Just you know, ride the wave. The thing is, yeah. if he wins, it's going to be massive for the game i think because yes. i think if he loses it puts a bit of a um a handbrake on it yeah because everyone's like okay good we're back to normal yeah. like we're back to an athlete winning as opposed to a youtuber but if he wins like you said if he knock out and probably needs to be in the first three rounds yeah i agree it's uh it it's just, gonna change it adds to the change narrative the game. and then yeah. things just you know all these random things just keep happening yeah. the thing that i don't love is the older boxers getting back in the ring um, right, I get yeah. scared for their safety because <laughs> yes. they're so old, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and they're just like slower. You know, they already yeah. are. Enjoy know. retirement. Well, I was yeah. scared. I was scared for Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. Mike Tyson still looks like a scary human being. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was holding back a little bit. Did you watch that fight? Yeah, yeah. I that, yes, I agree. I think yeah. when you put you know world champion Mike Tyson of all people yeah. in the ring and say, oh, it's an exhibition kind of style. He's not going to not knock him out, you mm. know, like you, any chance. Yeah. So, yeah, it scared me. <laughs> I, but think, I think it was probably Goody Prey had a couple of edibles before he went in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did. <laughs> All right, number six we got here. Well, kind of relevant. Uh, MMA. Yeah, pro. Uh, yeah, I think it's an in, – to be an MMA fighter is an incredible athlete because you've got – how many – is it five different disciplines – you know? Yeah, probably around five. I yeah, I mean, maybe more. Um, where Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, yeah. wrestling, boxing, kickboxing. Yeah. 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 But anyway, yeah. so to be able to do that and bring it all in one, um, the thing that I, I think though is considering there's all five, how can you possibly be incredible at all of them? Yep. Some people are. But I think the key to MMA is finding out what the other person's not great at in advance and then, you know, working on that. And the game plan is, the reason MMA is so exciting. Um, the fight that comes to mind is Conor McGregor and Khabib. He it was a boring fight. It's, it was so boring. But that's the reason he won because he, you know, showed Conor's flaws. Yep. yep. And that's for a fight fan, it was exciting because I was like, well, I was very excited. For yeah, that that's clever. Yeah, I didn't find it boring, but I do see why people do. Yeah. yeah. Well, I knew that the I thought side. it was clever. Yeah. Yeah. That's and that's yeah. right. The wrestling fans would have loved it, but. The people who just want to see, you know, bang and yeah, knock stand out up, and knock yeah. out and stuff. It just it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, if you're average fans, it wouldn't be. But the people who appreciate the sport loved yep. it. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, have you ever had the thought cross your mind? I mean, you started. Uh, did you say Muay Thai, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes, but my problem, my shoulders from footy, could just mm. someone can just drag me out if they want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, in the position that I'm in, maybe you know, one day it would be cool, but it's probably not um, the best sport to be doing while playing footy, yeah. elbows and knees mm. and stuff. Just split split you open, yeah. and then particularly for boxing, if I was to be split open, it's then a pain in the ass. For ages so yeah yep. yeah that i guess that's why but i yeah i like to watch it yep uh next one is harry potter yeah pro i like harry potter <laughs> you got a pro there you go oh, I do you not like harry potter absolutely like oh, harry when potter. i gave him this one before the show he was you know, he weren't that happy with it oh, i was okay it's a good one of course everyone's it's a pro harry potter and, yeah oh, i right. like it have you read all the books no i don't read books okay um, watch all the movies, <laughs> movies okay, yeah. that's all right. I don't, i've never read a book in my life i don't have time for that okay, yeah yeah <laughs> too busy yeah. I read picture books. <laughs> All right, so big Harry Potter. Well, fan. We, Harry Potter is relevant because we had you on the podcast with uh, Harry Jones and Jordan Ridley. Yeah, and yeah. We yeah. used one of the clips from before the game. They dressed before. You remember? You remember before the game? Please say. You nah, you'd be, you be too young. Game. Nah, too young. I reckon. What the, do you mean? The, what is it? It was a TV show. TV called show before called the Before the Game. No, nah, it was I around. Think I've heard of it, but I don't. I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, no. Nah, it so old. Around, around Harry, like 2011, 12. Then, Harry Jones no. didn't even yeah. know it existed, so uh, I feel like a, uh, I should be in a home. Um, <laughs> anyway, Limo <laughs> and Mick Malloy and who else is on there? Sam Lane. Anyway, Andy Murray. Uh, it was a footy show that was on Friday night before every game, and then it would lead into the game. Kind, kind of night, like mate. front bar. Saturday night, sorry. Saturday it's, night. It, the front bar guys are the same guys who made it, and it's yeah, basically yeah, the same guys run it. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same similar concept. Like it, it, it's like front bar except like a panel show, sort of like a yeah. It's front bar before show. front bar was it? Because it's, it's like the same people. Front yeah. bar meets the project. Yeah, there you go. Sort of thing. Anyway, they dressed him up as Harry Potter on that show. So <laughs> I find that. Do you have the footage? Yeah, yeah, of course you do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you after the show. Yeah, great. Uh, all right, number eight uh, beers. It's hard to say pro and con because it makes it sound negative, but con because I don't like beer. I hate it when someone says, "Oh, you want to? There we go. Do you want me to buy you a beer or something?" I hate beer. Like, okay, <laughs> well, it's perfect, perfect segue into what you're going to say. Our, yeah, well, we we're going to put cider. <laughs> we we didn't know whether you're going to give us a pro or con, and cons worked out perfect. Has it? I don't yeah. know. Our sponsor is a beer beer brand. <laughs> no, but no, 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 no. But, but to we right. do have. Do you like cider? Yeah, I like cider. Well, there you go. Yeah. We'll give you a birdie cider after the show. Oh, that's the you. that's the that's yeah, perfect perfect for non beer beer lovers. Yeah, honestly, that, yeah. I like cider. I just cannot get into beer. Yeah, don't know why. That's, that's lucky they've got there you go. cider. Lucky they got a cider to go. Although they're sour, and good ciders too. Sometimes we've had plenty of that. Non beer drinkers tend to enjoy some of their other beers though. Yeah, like right. The, the gone. I, to be honest, I haven't given it a chance. And do you know, do you know why I probably hate it? It's because pop when I was really young. <laughs> It used to be like, yeah, taste it. And I'd taste, you know, beer from pop when I was like, <laughs> like 10 or 12. <laughs> and it was yuck. <laughs> so yeah. that's all I really remember that beer was yuck. That's why my mum oh, doesn't like beer bad. too. She, My my grandpa was uh, uh, owned pubs for, and he, my mum always said that she was uh, baptised in beer, but they literally used to bathe in beer thinking it was good for the skin, I think. And I, I don't know whether that was true or <laughs> mum's just said that, but she said that's why I hate beer because they used to bathe me in it. Yeah, right. Okay. Weird, anyway, that's must, what must I do. That's what I do too. Yeah, that's right. It's <laughs> really great for cleansing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, second last to go, Floyd Mayweather. Pro. I think he's just such an incredible businessman. Like mm. what he has created is an empire. His like, his strip club, I don't know, it's probably not my style, but I think <laughs> his, the fact that he's just an, so wealthy it's still, yep. Yep. a lot of boxers in his era are no longer wealthy. Yep. Um, yeah, he's just a a mogul. Like it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty it is cool. Greatest defensive boxer of all time. It, that's it too. He's a yeah incredible okay. boxer, of course. Yeah. He's my coach Ferris's favorite boxer. So okay, cool. I, I like it. Yeah, okay. he's a boxer's boxer for his defense. I think. Yes. Like after the, if you would go back and what boxing fans go back and watch the Canelo fight, or there's a couple of fights he got clipped and he was very aggressive early. He used to get knockouts early and then he stopped and started just avoiding punches. Like this is said what before. I was talking about before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's all about game plan. It's not you know you don't. Like footy as well. Yeah. If you're playing a team that you have to play, you know, a bit ugly, you just do it because at the end of the day, like, it's, I don't care about what people It's a results-based business. Yep. Correct. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, he knew it. that from the beginning. Yes. He was hated. Probably the most hated boxer I would yeah. imagine yep. as well. Yeah. And he's still winning. Yep. I'd All right. So. Last one. BT's commentary. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh, can I do in the middle, I reckon? 
Yeah, he, 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 he the best in the one. One. <laughs> I can't remember what game, but he screamed. <laughs> I don't know why. I think you could hear in the commentary was when there was no crowds. You yeah. could hear someone, I don't know, what, screaming a name, you know, calling yeah. for the footy. And BT's like <laughs> repeated it and it was so, it was like a seagull. Like it was so loud and annoying on the TV. I was <laughs> oh, just like, oh, but it's made me shiver. <laughs> But, it, yeah, it, he's funny. He's the most talked about commentator in my school group WhatsApp by a mile. Is he? Yeah. 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 I'm not going to say who it's pro or con, but. Well, you, you've had about. some post-game avoidances. In oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. Romy yeah, actually, yeah, we had a bit of a thing a couple of years ago. Yeah. 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 Romy well, Brian. you know when he did Romy Bryan? Yeah. And he would ask you a question, but then he'd all of a sudden, he wouldn't even listen to your answer. He would just be yeah. looking for his be next. looking for his next guy. Yeah, yeah. They got wind that I was angry at that. Like not angry, but I was just like, I'm not interviewing him because he's just going to speak. Yeah. So then he actually came up to me and made like- a Why don't you like me, David? Yeah, why don't you like me? Yeah. And then like actually like asked me a question and then he was like, look, I'm looking at you. Like kind of <laughs> thing, yeah. But I would avoid him in all the things. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. He's, on a Friday night. I think, yeah, a pro for the game because it's the same thing with Floyd mm. Mayweather. He's doing, even though you don't like right? it, yeah. you're watching it. It's so entertainment. Right? It's funny and he's yep. he's a lovely person. That's yep. the other thing. But oh, in terms of commentary, he makes some blunders, but it's kind of, <laughs> yeah. it's funny. Like yeah, it you can laugh funny. at it and I'm sure he does too. He so. has made some good blues over the years. <laughs> yeah. He's made some very good ones. He's a pro for me. I like his commentary. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he's a character in the game and we need big characters. I like his commentary when he's re- reading the play, like, He's very quick and able to add some yeah yes. character. Parts. I do like his Triple M commentary better than his TV commentary. I usually like that too. Same with JB. When him and JB were on Triple M together and the yeah. crew back in that early 2010s. Yeah, it was like Gary Lyon. Yeah, that, and, were, uh, that was Spud, unbelievable Spud commentary. Spud yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be amazing. Well, that was a great pros and cons segment. Yes. Well done. You win. Thank you. <laughs>